everyone thanks very much for coming back and joining me so as promised guys here i am i am on to do episode seven season seven of star wars the clone wars and this is going to be me talking about my thoughts on it and it is going to be full of spoilers so if you haven't seen it and you don't really want to be getting spoilers then maybe put this in your liked videos and come back and watch it apologies i'm not on the camera this evening guys i just don't really feel that great today so Hope you don't mind, it's still going to be me giving you my thoughts nonetheless. So, straight off the bat, I will say I enjoyed this episode more than the last previous two episodes. But even at that, I didn't overly fancy this episode, to be honest. I am a bit disappointed. I mean, if you think about it, this is the final, final last um, curtain, I suppose. It's the final season that we're getting for this uh, series. And I just haven't been... I just thought I was, it was going to be way more better than the last previous episodes that we've got, to be honest, because it started off so damn good. But I did enjoy it a bit more than the last two episodes, but it still wasn't anywhere near as good as what I um, think for the standards of this series, to be perfectly honest. But I really did love the opening message, which read, who you were does not have to define who you are. And reason for that is because the Jedi part of Ahsoka will never leave her. And Ahsoka Tano is actually my favourite character from this uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. Um, I've always liked her. I know she's kind of the character that had to grow on some people. But I always loved her character. And I love the relationship between her and Anakin. And in this episode, that's what I actually loved the most was her character i think that we did see improvement in her character because i think she was very much as i said last week she's been getting you know a backseat kind of deal and it doesn't seem like she's been given the chance to shine sort of that's how i've sort of uh, took from it anyways and i know some of you who have watched them have commented sort of agreeing with me um but certainly feel free to disagree below um but anyways it was good to see her improve a bit in this episode from the previous ones and uh because to me, it should be about Ahsoka more, you know, like it shouldn't be like she's taking the back seat with these two sisters kind of deal, which are new introduced characters for this final season. And I feel that we got to see her Jedi ways in this, which is why I'm saying I did like her character um, a bit more in this episode. And if you think about it, that's even whilst guys, you know, in the presence of those who hate the Jedi way, which I will get to, you know, because obviously... um. The two sisters explained, you know, what happened to her parents and stuff like that with the Jedi. Um, and you, you could tell, like, Ahsoka was really, you know, standing, listening to what they were saying about their parents. Now, visually, um, I will be honest, okay? Visually, this episode was pretty stunning. It was pretty damn good, to be perfectly honest. And um, this is, you know, this is what I mean. You know, Clone Wars at its finest, always been good at the visuals. And I thought it was visually very good, this episode, in my personal opinion. Um... Especially, of course, this uh, episode took place on planet Obadiah, and I thought that was fantastic. I mean, I can't fault the visuals at all. I thought it was really, really cool. A lot of cool scenes within this um, episode as well, a lot of action. And, of course, this episode, it was pretty much because of in the last episode, episode 6, uh, Trace dumped 30,000 credits off space. Um, and then basically they tried obviously of course then to deceive uh, the Pikes and the three of them Ahsoka Trace and uh, what's your other woman called uh, Rafa honestly guys I still haven't took to these two characters really to be perfectly honest although there seems to be kind of relationship and characterization developments I don't know I just um, not really digging these two new characters Rafa and what's her face uh, Trace anyways right so <laughs> the three of them are in prison uh in this episode and uh, i mean to be honest that those all those scenes i thought like visuals with each other random like all the reds and the greens you know vibrant colors within this um were really really cool um and certainly there was a lot more action as i say within this uh episode and the pikes they were torturing you know uh rafa at first and then they were torturing trace because of course they want to know where the spice is um you know because they they need it and uh what i loved was again ahsoka she actually got to kick some uh of the pike's butt but not only did she kick some uh but uh you know obviously she was uh getting into the pikes and all that there right but not only did she do that but what i loved was the fact that without sounding funny she done it on her own 
and it wasn't because I was just sitting waiting uh, and although I was enjoying that scene as short as it was which was kicking uh, the pike's butt I was like do you know what's going to happen here I, I'm going to predict it now uh, that one of the sisters or both of the sisters Rafa or whatever you call it, Trace uh, or is going to come in here and steal her moment and you know what guys they actually didn't. I was like, you know what? I was actually wrong in my prediction there because I actually got to see Ahsoka in that, do that scene on her own. And that was a really cool scene. And then when Ahsoka went down, like, it's like the ladder or whatever, or she like slid down the, the ladders. I really liked that scene. And I kind of wish it had lasted a bit longer because it was actually nice to see her in action, but on her own without them two kind of like, it kind of seems like they, they're sort of like always trailing along behind her. or They're always like trying to steal her moment or something. So that, I, I, you know, fair play, at least it was that. Um, the sisters, obviously, as we were saying earlier, uh, just before I forget to get to that, uh, you know how they were telling Ahsoka about the whole story about their parents and they were killed uh, because of the Jedi. And you could tell, you know, she was really listening and she was really upset by that. And the last part of this episode, what was really cool, guys, is we had Mandalorians. There was a lot of really cool sort of action scenes. There was like a speeder scene as well with um, Ahsoka and the sisters and that. And the three of them ended up back in prison at the end of this episode, which, to be honest, I didn't like so much at all. Because you're, I was sort of like, right, okay, so we're basically back to where we started it ended where we, it quite literally freaking well ended where we started. And I'd be perfectly honest, I'm not really sure I like that at all. Um, So I'm sort of wondering, I could be completely wrong, but I'm just sort of wondering if the Mandalorians will have something to do with the escape. They probably will. Um, But we'll we'll see what happens. But I'm kind of like wondering how they're going to escape. Um, I, I kind of felt like deja vu, uh, you know, we ended up where we started off <laughs> kind of thing. But anyway, um, so far I'm just kind of feeling like it seems like an already slow plot for this last, it's the last ever season. If you think about it, this is like the final, final season we're getting. We're not going to be getting any more. And it doesn't feel like this is a season, it's kind of like Endgame for, for Marvel, you know. It's like I wouldn't have ended on Endgame the way Endgame ended, or sorry, the way that movie was Endgame. That's not how I would have ended you know what I mean? Like, that's just my opinion, but I, I don't know. I felt, as I say, I can't remember if I've even said this or not, guys, yet, but I felt like Ahsoka did improve in this episode um, in terms of who she is and what she'll always be, which is a Jedi. And sorry if that sounds a bit corny, like, but it is what it is. It, it is what it is. But my problem is is we don't have many episodes left and I don't know how everybody else thinks about it please let me know in the comments but is anybody else a little bit worried because like I'm not saying it's been a really bad season or anything but like in comparison to the other six seasons I just feel that it really is just lacking and it's sad for me to have to say that not only as a Star Wars fan but as a huge Clone Wars fan and I'm actually like sitting here <laughs> not feeling well at all guys but I'm just like sitting here trying to like regather my thoughts and I just I am a bit disapp I am disappointed I am and I am a bit bothered by it I am a bit sad by it I mean yes there was there was different parts of this and different elements of this episode that I did like but just as an overall kind of deal didn't overly fancy it didn't overly think too much of it even though there was bits of it that I did like this episode may or may not be one that I will rewatch again. I don't know because there was some cool parts in it. But like visually and everything, absolutely fantastic. The action scenes, fantastic. But I think it just... Mm, these two chicks, this freaking Rafa and uh, Trace, it's just not doing it for me. And with so many f episodes, a um, few episodes left, like where are we going with this exactly? Um, and are we going to have enough time to get to what we need to get to is my main concern here. So what I want you to do is drop all your concerns um, or thoughts or feelings, whether it be positive, whether it be negative, be it what have you. And if you really enjoyed this episode, fantastic. I could see why. But at the same time, like I just had, you know, I'm not I wasn't blown away, to be perfectly honest. Let me know what you all think below Again, apologies wasn't on camera. Um, 
guys, I'm literally like lying in bed just recording this as an audio and then I'm going to just throw it up onto the iMovie again. Apologies. But I did really want to get it up because, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, like to hear these kind of reviews not long after an episode is out. And not only that, I did promise you um, that I was going to be doing this. So, yeah, thanks very much for coming on and listening. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye, guys.